Hey guys, it's Wendy from Wendy's Art. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to pen this lovely leopard cat. This is one of my commission pieces, and it's a project of endangered animals in Taiwan. I'll share my finished project in future videos, so stay tuned. Before painting, I start with contour drawing. It's quite important to have an actual sketch. I like to draw out the details of the fur, so it's easier to paint afterwards. Then I outline my sketch with light watercolor and erase my pencil sketch afterwards. I like to do this to ensure there's no pencil sketching left on my finished work, but you can skip this step if you do sketching with watercolor. After I'm done with outlining, I start painting from the eyes. For any animals that I do, I always start painting from the eyes because it usually helps the whole painting a lot and I think it kind of encourages you to finish the painting if you paint the eye well. I mix up some darker brown with navy blue color for the eye line and for the white eyes, I fill it up with some brown and red color. Then I put on first layer of the body. I use yellow oak and mix with some peach skin color. I add more water to dilute the color for the first layer. I suggest keeping the first layer lighter so you can work on layers and add details afterwards. Then I start painting the darkest patterns on the face and body. It's quite important to follow the right direction when painting the patterns. I like to take a closer look of the reference photo before painting so I know where the pattern changed directions or end. For example, you can see the pattern on the body and on the tail are in different directions. It's quite detailed here, so I suggest to use a smaller paintbrush. I'm using my number zero paintbrush, which is great for painting small details. For the inner ears, I mixed up some shell pink with skin color for the base color and purple for the shadows and details. After I'm done painting all the patterns, I start painting the second layer for the body. Here I mix up some yellow oak with a brown color. The chest part has a lighter color than outside of the body, so I use light purple to paint out the shadow. Then continue fill up the second layer around the edge and the arms.
Lastly, I use white gel pen to pen out the whiskers. You can use white pens instead, but I think a white gel pen can get a thinner, straighter line and it's quite convenient. So that's all for today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you won't miss out on my weekly art videos and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye!